All right, this is a question labeled visualizing electric fields. So it starts with this giant paragraph that tells you a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, what I thought is important, I highlighted, and it's basically the information of field lines never cross, electric field lines spread out as you move away from the charge, and the greater the spacing between field lines, the weaker the electric field. So my important opinion, that's the important information. And then it kind of describes the figures that we're about to look at. So the first question is of the following panels, which I'll show in a second. Show the one that has a un uniformly infinite negatively charged sheet correctly. So... That is looking at these. So obviously they have little negative lines all across here. And so that's what we want. So we want the uniform. So the biggest hint with uniform is gonna be this equal spacing and straight lines. So this one's automatically out and this one's automatically out because these are bent, but that's not uniform. Also, as we read in the intro, field lines never cross. So this is just wrong. That's not right. And then since it is negative, things point towards the negative. So you're gonna want them going into the sheet like this, not out of the sheet like this. So D is your answer for A. So for infinitely negative sheet with all these negative signs, you're gonna want something straight spacing going towards it. And then for B, we're asking figure two, what is wrong with panel B? Which we kind of just went through. In panel B, once again, you have these crossings, which field lines never cross. And then also the field line should be symmetric. These are, you know, they're at an angle, they're kind of funky, that's not right. So that's what's wrong with B. C is asking, which of the following panels in figure three shows the correct electric field lines for an electric dipole. So this is three, they're kind of difficult to see, so I drew my own that I said should be correct. So you obviously you have a negative and a positive because it is the dipole. Things are always pointing out towards the negative, like all of these, towards the negative and away from the positive. And they are curved because you know they come from the positive and go to the negative. From the positive and go to the negative, which is why they are curved. So it needs to be curved, it has to be pointing it towards the negative, towards the positive. So if you're looking over here at figure three, you're going to see that in B again. Because these are pointing towards and away, and it's curved. So C and D are not curved. In figure three, what is wrong with panel D? So that's going to be this one right here. Here, um, so you can see straight off the bat, you see that these lines are straight instead of curved. And then also these arrows are actually pointing away from the negative and towards the positive. So it is a complete opposite of what you want. You want curved lines and you want them to end on the negative, you want them like this. So those are the two things that are wrong with it. And then the last question is, the electric field lines are show in figure four for two point charges and which of the following could represent the magnitudes for these two charges. So you can see that they are going away from A and they are going towards B, which automatically gives us this assumption that A is positive and B is negative. So then the question is, what is the charge specifically? Is it is A bigger or is B bigger? And the answer is A is bigger. So you can see that they get really big over here Right, really spread out. They stay pretty close to B. And whatever. They're not as. So A is bigger. Um, so I think this one's the. Wait. I wrote this wrong. Or no, I didn't. Okay, yeah. So A is about plus 7, and B is the minus 3 for the numbers that pop up on my version. So there we go with that.